What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are back in the shop, finally back to work on the LS Swap Miata. So life happens, it's been a couple months since we've actually worked on the car, and at this point it's pretty hard to get back into the rhythm. Stay out of the garage long enough and you can get really discouraged and even give up. But we are not gonna do that and I don't wanna see any of you do that. So today as we dive back into work, I wanna give you three tips that I think can help keep your project on track, help you avoid discouragement, help you avoid the cell of shame, and get that project done. Let's get to work. All right, tip number one, take some freaking pride in your shop. Make it a place you love to spend time. Building a car is hard. Trying to build a car in a trash can freaking sucks. If your shop looks like a homeless guy's been camping out in it for a while, you might need to get that crap cleaned up. Remember, your shop says a lot about who you are. All in all, our shop's doing pretty good. It's tiny, it's 18 by 18, so keeping it clean is a must. One area we really need to improve on is the climate of our shop. Running the AC works out pretty good in the summer but in the winter we're not able to run a heat because all the heat just escapes through the vent holes in the shop and I don't want to spend any money on the insulation right now because the goal is to build a bigger shop so with all that being said I know that we've got to get our shop ready for this winter the first thing we need to do is grab some lumber from Lowe's we cut it to fit in between the posts to cover up the big large holes at the top of the barn then after that just to help with all the wasps we spray foamed every hole we could find in the roof we have lost so many tools it's ridiculous to wasp in this shop they fill up every little freaking hole they can find and it absolutely drives me crazy. Tip number two, have a plan, make a budget. Nothing will kill a car faster than running out of time and money. Don't be that guy that can't finish a project because he didn't slow down long enough to count the cost. Unless you're rich, you're gonna need a budget. Now our monthly budget is 500 bucks and I try to dedicate every Friday to working on the car. 500 bucks a month is a lot, but no matter how much money you're gonna budget, you might need to get a little bit creative. Maybe start a side hustle, Maybe start a YouTube channel. I don't know, maybe just work overtime. Whatever you decide, you're definitely gonna need a plan and a budget. Number three, can-do attitude with a little bit of grit. The truth is you're never gonna get that car done sitting on the couch watching the YouTube videos. It's gonna take you working your ass off. A couple psychologists got together and studied some people with grit. They concluded that grit was a better predictor of success than intelligence. Now I don't know about you guys, but I'm not the smartest guy in the room, but I do have a lot of grit. And when you're feeling unmotivated and you're feeling like you're never gonna get your project done, muster up your can-do attitude with a little bit of grit. It. And that's what we're doing here today. We've been away from the car for so long, we're not real sure where to start. So we're just gonna unpack some boxes, gather up the parts we have, and throw them on the car. Our goal today is just keep moving forward and start bolting accessories on the motor. We've got our F-body water pump and our high mount alternator bracket and 92 millimeter throttle body. The first thing we need to do is to move our thermostat to the passenger side rear of the heads to make room for our alternator on the driver side. Then we installed our high mount alternator kit. This is a pretty slick kit. It allows you to point your exhaust manifolds forward and use the better truck alternator. Next, we're gonna put on the F-body water pump. I always have really good look putting a little anti-seize on these bolts and then we're going to install the tensioner for the rib belt. We're using a combination of two alternator brackets so we have two different tensioners but I'm going to use them both together. Then we're going to install our swivel thermostat housing. This allows us to point the thermostat straight down, makes it easier to bolt up to the radiator. We'll put our radiator back in and then get the upper and lower hose back on. The lower hose is a kind of at a weird angle, but I think it's going to work out fine. These brackets are pretty slick, work pretty good, and they have a little tab on them for an electric fan. Next, is our intake manifold. We install eight new silicone gaskets, put the manifold on top of the motor, put in new hardware with antecedents. I did notice as we were tightening these down, there are some slight cracks in the manifold. I hope this thing lasts. The adapter will allow us to use the cheaper Holley Sniper EFI 92 millimeter throttle body. We installed our new throttle position sensor and our new IAC valve. All in all, we didn't get a whole lot done today, but it feels like a huge accomplishment to have this motor this much closer to getting started. And we've got the shop ready for a little heat. I'm excited we got some stuff bolted on the motor. It makes me feel like we're getting really close to getting this thing started. Maybe throw a drive shaft in it, get to driving it, who knows. It's coming along quickly. I'm really excited to be back in the garage. 
Let me know in the comments what you guys are doing to stay motivated. I know these projects can be long-winded, so a little bit of motivation goes a long way. Really appreciate you joining us. Like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Help us get our side hustle going and maybe make a little money to help pay for this car. We'll see you next time.